Let's see today. Let's see is portable extensible toolkit for scientific computation. If you've come across this video, you probably know what you're doing, so we don't need to get into the trivia. So let's get started with installing. Let's see. Now there are some prerequisites for installing Petsy. You need a Fortran compiler. You need Blast and Lepak packages and MPEG. So the Fortran compiler is a necessity before you install and Blast and Lepak and MPEG can be installed uh, with the configuration. So let's first see if we have Fortran and if you run G Fortran V hyphen V you'll see the version of your current Fortran compiler and the same can be done with F77 hyphen V so if you don't have that you can do a sudo apt-get install G Fortran and you will have the Fortran compiler in your system here I am installing Fortran and if I say yes uh, the Fortran will be installed in my system but then I already have it so I kind of don't need to do that here so let's just skip it to the next part and let's clone Petsy so head over to the portal the website of Petsy and go towards the download tab yes so you can straight away use this line or you can change the directory where you want the clone to be downloaded to I'll just select some dummy folder here let's name it uh, all right dummy let's name it dummy folder and oops yeah dummy folder and Petsy so this is the directory that I'm going to install my Petsy in Oh, I'm just kidding, it is pet sc. Yes, so let's clone pet c into dummy folder and you'll see uh, it takes about a minute or so to download if you've got good internet connection and it's 160 MB of download. So the get clone is working and I'm getting the repo of uh, pet c, yes. I'm sorry for the confusion or the mess up. Okay, I'll just during the video I'll be skipping some of the other parts because I presume that the watcher of this video has a life and they don't really want to see all the boring mundane stuff. So and now that I've downloaded the Petsy the repository uh, I can go to dummy folder and to this Petsy directory and see that all that I need to install Petsy is right here in front of us so let's get the configuration part of it so and we'll go to the terminal and we'll redirect ourselves towards the folder where I have right now downloaded Petsy let's do a quick, quick ls and here you can see the configure that out object and we'll just run it here and along with that we need blast and lepak packages without these packages uh, we won't be able to perform the activities that we need to do and of course we need mpg as well so uh, if we head over to the portal of Petsy will see we can append the download of mpitch and uh, blast and lepak along with the configuration so head over to Petsy and copy down the first line that I've highlighted and what this essentially does is uh, it downloads and configures Petsy for C compiler C++ compiler and Fortran compiler and of course downloads mpitch and blast and lepak so let's go ahead and copy down the configuration line and paste it down to the terminal here we go so now we have the configuration tool running I'll just let you guys see what's happening over here uh, there's nothing much that 
that uh, there's nothing much of an interaction over here all you'll be watching is some random text being poured onto a terminal you can just skip this part probably you can you know, go ahead and grab a snack or something be back after 10 minutes because this thing takes a while uh, you can see the timestamp on my system over there it's 153 in the morning and it took me around 8 minutes or so to completely configure the whole thing whole damn thing yeah that was just me typing some things some yeah I was kind of bored okay so now we are installing mpitch and following mpitch we will install blast and lapack I should have skipped everything but anyways everybody gets to see what's happening but uh, now we have blast and lapack being installed so blast stands for basic linear algebra sub program and lapack stands for linear algebra package so these are required for the linear and non-linear equations that are differential equations that we're going to solve using petsy oh yeah and now since we've done configuring now all we need to do is copy the make pet scr directory line and paste it down to the terminal this is what i like about a really good well developed software uh, the next step is mentioned right after what you've just done and here you see a lot of out objects being created so essentially it's very easy to configure and install uh, wha what I did right now is just copied some lines and pasted it on my terminal didn't have to write a lot on my own and you get a feel that you're a hacker yeah <laughs> so uh, after the after all of these out objects I have created mm, will have to copy another line of a make check to check that we have installed everything correctly and just as the way make install command was printed out by the installer itself we will have the make check line uh, being uh, thrown to the terminal itself we'll just have to copy it down and run it again <laughs> Well, it's 3 in the morning right now and I may be jumbling a lot of words so you you guys might feel that my voice is a bit chippy and something like that I'm very sorry about it and I'm not not very really used to recording videos and giving voiceovers to it so whatever all right we have you know you just can you just you can just you know skip this part come back after 10 minutes just as the way I said it it takes some time all right so now we have configured it uh, and we have installed it now we need to check if we have everything installed so so the installer itself gives us the next directions we copy down the make check line and the code checks if we have done it everything perfectly so we've got C and C++ example with one MPI process and a Fortran example with one MPI process another C and C++ example with two MPI processes and that's it yeah we have successfully installed PET C thanks for watching